First of all, we have to distinguish between modulators and mediators, and I'll do this very briefly. There are a lot of things that will modulate your state of focus, but they don't directly mediate your sense of focus. So for instance, if right now a fire alarm went off in this building, it would modulate our attention. We would get up and leave. It would be very hard to do what we're doing with that banging in the background, at least at first. So it's modulating focus, but it's not really involved in the mechanisms of focus. In the same way, being well rested when you sleep, your autonomic nervous system that adjusts states of alertness and focus and calm works better than when you're sleep deprived. So if you're sleeping better, you're gonna focus better. So I always answer this way uh, to a question like this because best thing that anyone can do for their mental health, physical health and performance in athletic or cognitive endeavors or creative endeavors is to make sure that you're getting enough quality sleep enough of the time for you. And that's gonna differ. We could talk about what that means. Now, in terms of things that mediate focus, it's very clear that mental focus follows visual focus, provided that you're a sighted person. Much of the training that's being done now in China to teach kids to focus better literally has them stare at a target, blinking every so often, but really training themselves to breathe calmly and maintain a tight visual aperture. When you read, you have to maintain a tight visual aperture. You're literally scrolling like a highlighter in your mind's eye, mm -hmm. right? It's kind of obvious once you hear it. So for people that have problems focusing, sleep well, Learn to dilate and contract your visual field consciously. This can be done if you practice it a little bit. And then, be, as I said before, it is very hard to get into a state of focus like a step function immediately, like snapping your fingers. What you can do is you can pick any object, but ideally an object at roughly the same distance, placed at roughly the same distance to which you're going to do that work and stare at it, you're allowed to blink. And as your mind starts to drift every once in a while to understand that's normal, but try and narrow your visual aperture and bring that into your visual field so that that's the most prominent thing, kind of like portrait mode in your phone. This would look very different in portrait mode than it would in just a standard photograph mode. And then after doing that for 30 to 60 seconds, moving into the work that you're about to do and really encourage yourself to do that. If you're somebody who's low vision or no vision, you're going to use your ears to do this. Braille readers have trouble focusing sometimes because mm. they feel other stuff and they hear other stuff. So you, you learn to adjust that aperture consciously. Staring down at a screen is not going to be as effective as placing it at eye level or above you. When the eyes are up, literally, or when your eyes are directed forward or up, the brainstem centers for alertness are activated. When your eyes are down, it's actually, you're, you're sort of, it's like being pulled underwater a little bit in the autonomic arousal sense. It's you're closing your eyes. I mean, um, is one it reflects the brainstem centers that are active becoming less or for act, for alertness. Excuse me, becoming less active. But there's a really cool effect that's active in this room right now, which is that there have been some really interesting studies that when people work in small compact spaces mm -hmm. or wear a hoodie or a hat, that can also improve focus like blinders on a horse okay. for obvious reasons now based on what i said before but also analytic work or the kind of work where there's a correct answer that you're seeking is best supported by these kind of low ceiling environments whereas there's something called the cathedral effect mm -hmm. which is when you work in an outdoor environment or a high ceiling environment it lends itself to kind of pun intended kind of loftier ideas and more creativity and that probably has to do with the fact that there's a natural tendency a reflex to expand your visual field in these high ceiling environments.